today i will cover um, the control uh, control circuit schematic for the motor feeder so this is 11 kb motor feeder control schematic drawing here the control supply is 220 volt dc this is positive bus and below this is negative bus okay so this uh, motor this is the spring charging motor circuit here the motor is also uh, operated by this 220 volt dc here is the motor productive device okay this is closing circuit this is the closing circuit portion this is indication circuit this area is trip circuit supervision and lastly here is the trip circuit the main part is this closing circuit and this tripping circuit so for the closing circuit there is the uh, closing coil inside the breaker so this 52 cc is the circuit breaker closing coil we need to we need to energize this coil to get the breaker closed okay now to close the breaker uh, suppose we have kept the breaker is in uh, in test position so if the circuit breaker is in test position then it will uh, this uh, this contact will be closed that means this is coming in this way and if you press the push button for the local operation breaker is in test position and you are pressing the push button that means this path is coming in this way this is open so it will not come in this way so this is coming this way this way this way and this is limit switch spring charge so if the if the spring charging motor is uh, charged then this will be closed and this will be through and it will energize the 52 cc closing coil of the circuit breaker and the circuit breaker will be closed this is the test if the breaker is in test position if now if the breaker is in service position then it is coming in this way now whether the breaker that control selector switch is in local or remote if the selection switch position is in local that means you want to operate from local from switch gear only so this path will follow and you are pressing the start push button you are pressing the start push button then then this is the path so it is coming in this way this way this way this way and it will analyze this closing call of the breaker now if the control switch position is in remote then this is coming this way and k1 start this k1 start this this means this is the uh, remote operation this is the remote command this command is this command is fr coming from dcs of plc so command is coming to close the circuit breaker so if you issue the close command k1 so it will follow this path remote then k1 command from dcs or plc 86 relay not operated 74x the trip circuit supervision relay is ok then it will close then it will follow this path and it will energize this 52 closing coil by circuit breaker closing coil the breaker will be closed now the breaker is in service position you you want to you want to stop the breaker so here the stop command will come from dcs or plc so it will stop the breaker okay now if the breaker is in uh, service as well as in remote position so this will follow this path this will follow this path so this is the latching delay okay now if now if the breaker if the control switch location uh, that control switch position 43 is the selector switch selector switch position is in remote and uh, you are stopping you are stopping from local then then you can do that also so this is the closing circuit and this is indication circuit with a breaker breaker on of tripped uh, motor spring charged all this indication you can get okay here this is a uh, trip circuit supervision this is 74 
tube circuit supervision relay 74 and uh, this is the auxiliary uh, these are the auxiliary contact multiplication for 74x because this contact we are using the 74x contact we are using uh, if you see here in the closing circuit 74x this contact is coming from this relay okay now this is the tripping circuit this is the tripping circuit suppose the circuit breaker is in service position service position and and this is the uh, path you see this is 60 dc uh, dc circuit supervision relay if that operates or any under voltage element operates then uh, then it will follow this path and it will energize the 52 cc uh, tc this is the trip coil of the uh, circuit breaker this 52a this in uh, this inner contact is in close position before tripping the breaker so basically this uh, this path is closed and the signal will uh, will pass through this trip coil okay now if the breaker is in service position and you are issuing the stop command from dch or plc this is the stop command k0 contact if you uh, issue the uh, stop command from dch or plc then also this will follow this path this path this path because the circuit breaker is in close position now so this is uh, now closed and it will follow this path so the breaker will get tripped 86 relay if 86 the lockout relay operated then also it will uh, it will energize the trip coil if 99 is the 99 is the main motor protection relay mpr so if 99 protection relay any of the feature is operated in that case it will trip the circuit breaker also here is the 87 87 87 m so if 87 is the differential motor differential protection this is applicable for the motors uh, rated 1 megawatt and above so this if the 87 m uh, differential protection element operates then this will follow this path this will follow this path and it will trigger the 86 86 I mean lockout relay and it will uh, close this 86 relay contact and it will energize it will energize this trip coil of the circuit breaker and the circuit breaker will get tripped and these are the these are the indications di uh, digital inputs uh, to communicate with DCS or PLC limit switch spring charging uh, motor limit switch um, signal breaker is in service position control switch uh, location that selector switch location is in remote okay local remote selection uh, local remote selection switch that uh, that feedback also will be communicated with DCS or PLC okay here circuit breaker on on off trip and balance are the spare spare contacts available trip circuit handy through say 74x 87m this is spare for different cell element this is 99 for motor protection relay contact